Do you see what I see? I just finished the video on the snail problem. And what do we have? A worm problem. So we are going to get rid of you, worm. Oh, also lost a leaf. Okay, hmm, that smells good. Look at that. You munched your way through. Let me see what else. Is it just the one? You like basil? Ciao, ciao. So now I know I have to be looking for these guys, but at least this placement at eye level will help me to, um, to be able to pick at it without having to bend down. So that's an added benefit. See, oh, there's some munchies there. Some places where it's been munched. Okay, I don't see any of the worms, so maybe that was the only one. Darn it! It's looking quite the worst for wear because um, I've been really busy and unable to tend to it. Uh, so I just wanted to point out that, um, well, the cilantro is pretty sad. Uh, yesterday I saw a snail on it and I wanted to come take a picture but I was very busy. So let's see if we can find him. Or did he already go on? greener pastures elsewhere. It's very dry. Okay. He's not here. If I see him, I'll take another picture of him again. But um, I also have not been paying good attention to these guys. So we conclude our experiment on whether we can prevent snails from getting into our basil by hanging it in a basket? The answer is no. Still, it is not a bad method because it can deter them substantially and you only have to check periodically to keep your basil healthy. I did notice this snail a little while ago and I wasn't able to capture him. Um, but here he has been eliminated and my hopefully he didn't lay any eggs or whatever snails do baby snails um, and my basket is again snail free so needs more watering and obviously because of the bark the water didn't uh, get to this area so I'm gonna go do that again but not a bad method for protecting your basil plants from snails. The heat, however, is a completely different matter. Darn it, there's another one. Look at this. Darn it. I'm going to have to eliminate you too. Take a picture. And fling the snail off of the beach. There it is. So, in order to get into there, the snail either had to climb up one of these reeds, or that, or this, and jump in. So, hopefully, they no longer know. Let's check for more snails. I put this bark here to try to protect the soil from drying out, but it also provides a nice place for the snails to hang out and hide. Okay, so I think we are now snail free.